latest now on the arson attacks on ballot box drops, uh, drop boxes in Washington and in Oregon. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, is following the story from D.C. Good morning to you, Pierre. Robin, good morning. ABC News has learned that investigators have evidence that the suspect in those arsons may be motivated by the war between Israel and Hamas or could simply be trying to sow chaos in our election. This morning, law enforcement sources telling ABC News incendiary devices used in a spate of ballot drop box arsons in the Pacific Northwest carried markings with the expressions free Gaza, including one that also bore the phrase free Palestine. Authorities are now working to determine if the suspect who destroyed hundreds of ballots is an activist for the pro-Palestinian cause or if the arsonist left the word simply to manipulate existing divisions in the U.S. Overnight, authorities intensifying their hunt for the Volvo scene here tied to the suspect they believe is involved. The arsons come in an incredibly intense threat environment and election officials across the country are taking no chances to secure ballots and keep workers safe. Election workers are off limits. In Maricopa County, Arizona, where some people with guns showed up during the 2020 election vote count, officials are deploying a number of security measures this year drones and surveillance cameras to monitor activity around the building where the votes will be counted. Officers on horseback to control unruly crowds, a SWAT team at the ready. There has been immense planning for many, many years relative to this operation. In Los Angeles, local officials plan to use L.A. County Sheriff's helicopters to fly ballots from local polling stations to the central counting location where they will have armed security. The voting process belongs to the voters. We're here to facilitate it, make sure it works securely and appropriately. And right now, dogs are sniffing mail-in ballots to make sure they don't contain toxic materials. In a deeply divided country where threats of political violence are on the rise, election officials are going to extraordinary lengths to protect voters, their ballots, and election workers, Michael. All right, Pierre, thank you so much for bringing that to us. Okay, Solawam. Solawam, Kwam Yasha Allah. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And hey, we're living in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful times, man. For the division of this place Because we know that with that division Comes desolation or destruction Of our enemies man Which is Babylon the great Good old America But you know our people are scattered everywhere So it's going to be you know A real beautiful thing for the elect of Israel whether, Wherever we're scattered to To be free man And to see the downfall of our enemies But you can clearly see They keep talking about division Now I pull this up because I asked Google, or you know, the AI, you know, how divided is America? And you know, of course, they have pictures like this divided states of America. <laughs> you know, they call it the uh, divided state of states of America. But when I put it in, you know, it's plenty of it's plenty of articles on it. There's plenty of news on it. Americans view um, a country as deeply divided, but believe most have much in common. And when I went through the survey on there, when they, you know, basically they're saying that these people are divided as hell. But the things that they're talking about that people have in common is, of course, you know, having a decent paying job, you know, having um, decent housing, you know, just shit that, um, you know, all humans want, you know, to be comfortable. So, yeah, you know, it's not hard for people to agree on their comfortabilities, but it's all about, you know, the division as far as the right and the left as to who should really have it and who shouldn't. Now, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the one that stole his country. He's feeling like he's been he's being he's being driven out of what is his basically. That's where their division is really coming from. You know, those are the ones that's really voting for Trump, make America great again. They wanted to go back to when they used to be able to, you know, jump in their RVs, travel all the way across the country, three or four thousand miles. You know, had a damn car hooked to the back of the RV or you know their ATVs, you know their jet skis and shit like that. They want to go back to that life. They want to go back to, you know, having a a, a truck, the, 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 the van that they, you know, carpool the children in. Plus, you know, they're, they're, you know, you know, them three, four vehicles that they normally have. The three to four car garage, you know, the, the, those are your basic Americans. Because Esau been doing good, man, in his kingdom. And he, he, he rocked out, man, in his kingdom. It's just time for it to go. <laughs> That's all. 
you know, but let me grab a quick scripture real quick as to what's going on here. Nothing too, too long. It's just, hey, we're living in the last days, man. This is prophecy playing out. It ain't no telling what's going to happen. These people out here burning up ballot boxes, man. You know how stupid it is to have a damn ballot box out? And then they said that, it, you know, it had something to do with, you know, some somebody, you know, talking about um, um, peace in Gaza and Palestine and all this bullshit. Man, there was probably some so-called white people, <laughs> you know, from either side, Democratic or, or Republican that done that shit. Because, you know, Esau, he's, he's good about that. You know, throw the rock and put his hand behind the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they done the Israelites in Rome. Basically, the nigga burnt down Rome, you know, and, and blamed it on the Israelites. Same way that they're going to try and blame you, Jake, now. They're going to try and blame you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans for Kamala being fucking, um, um, you know, caught in the presidency, presidency, man. Just like they blame you for um, Joe Biden. You know? They they're acting as if you're the you're this you're supposedly six percent or seven eight percent of the population here that you're the problem with the entire damn country. What about them? The 70, 80 percent of their asses. See, but that's that division. And people into everything here now. It's not just a black and white thing. It's not just a red and blue thing. As far as the states that vote, you know, Democratic or Republican. It's not about a left nor a right. This shit got to do with the vision of with parents and children, the vision with heterosexual and homosexual and whoever sexual, binary sexual, whoever the, you know, you even got fighting, infighting amongst the LGBTQ with all them damn letters. They're fighting with each other. You know, the queer don't like the, you know, it's just, it's just all over the place. You got the men against the women, you know, you got the people that's against abortion, the people that's for abortion. It, it's so it's a smorgasbord. Of, 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 you know, even, I mean, it's division, it, division's so cold here, you can get your ass whooped at an NFL game, I'm just being honest with you, an NBA game, hockey game, a damn Major League Baseball game, you can get your head whooped on, man, if you got on the wrong jersey, talking shit about your team, or who's better than who, it's people that get um, deleted every weekend, Arguments break out in the home from somebody watching a damn game. It's that much division in these homes, man. But this is um, Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh shall knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's beautiful. Because that's exactly what's happening to America, man. That's exactly what's happening to this place. And there's no coming back from that, man. It's, it's too far gone. These people out here ready to scrap, man. They ready to fight. I done seen so many videos with people arguing. And, you know, as a matter of fact, family members breaking. You know, <laughs> how dare you? You know, their husband and wife are divorcing and shit. Because one think that Kamala should be president. And one think that Trump should be president. Instead of just saying, well, hey, look, we're a family. What the fuck is you trying to do here? Verse 26, it says, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So we know that this is Babylon the Great. This place is divided up into all kinds of pieces. It used to be a lot more together. Though, you know, you always, you know, you had your little Democratic, Republican shit, which is some division in itself. It's just really bullshit in itself, you know. Because, I mean, it was founded on division, really, in reality. But these so-called white people, they used to be able to get along better. But now you have these so-called white people again that's not doing well. They're not doing as good as they used to do. Like, as I work with an Edomite right now, he's an older gentleman, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he, he got one of them big-ass houses off the river. You know, he was living it up. He was Actually, he was retired. Economy hit, you know what I'm saying? And now he, he feels as if, you know, hey, Trump going get, gonna to get things back good for him. He done ran through his 401k, his damn, you know, all his little savings and all that little stuff. He was doing good. He was set for, he had uh, money set up for his um, daughters. He would always talk to me about his oh, his granddaughter's uh, money going to college and money set up for them to do things when they got older. He blew, he had to go through that shit. It went, it's not like he even blew it. He just had to dip into it because he had them properties. He had the property taxes. You know, things just didn't go like how he thought it was going to go. He was doing swell at first. Stock markets and shit started to hit his ass. So he started to lose funds, and now he's back working a regular job with a Jake. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we just worry about our daily bread. That shit don't even matter to me. As long as the Lord has provided me with my daily bread, man, I'm content with whatever he gives me, man. Not trying to get no 2025 newest car. I'm not trying to go and get no bigger fucking place to stay. I'm not trying to go and splurge out on no damn jewelry, no no extra extravagant clothes. I'm just, man, just here waiting on the return of my Lord, man. That's it. That's it, man. So when I see things like this, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> it's beautiful to me, man. He kind of he I th he kind of knows how I feel, cause you know we done had some discussions. I don't be going all off into it with him, you know. But I you know he talks about the politics. I know he's he's a Trump supporter. He's definitely voting for Trump. But you know he be trying to, you know, pick my brain. And, you know I just you know talk to him as if I'm neutral, cause I am. Shit, they're like hey look, I tell hey look I'm neutral, bro. I don't I don't give a shit about either one. I'm winning. And, and that's, you know, I guess he can pick my brain from that, that area. And I, cause he know that I'm into politics. He know that, you know, I'm into geopolitics. He know that I, you know, I know about things that's going on, which is what's kind of surprising to his ass. So he feels like he has someone to talk to about certain things. And like shit, man, you know, I kick it with him here and there, but I don't go all off into no truth about anything about it. You know, I'm just saying, hey, you got a deal, bro. Your ass probably going to be working. Until the missile, missiles come, you're not going back into retirement, more than likely. You, <laughs> you got to work this job, bro. And it is what it is. He's in his damn 70s. And there's a lot of um, so-called white men like that at my job. Whole plant full of them. Old-ass Edomites that had to come back to work. They crunched all over. Their body was already fucked up from them doing them 30 years, 40 years before they retired to begin with. Then they had to come out of retirement. They driving old-ass trucks. You know, because Esau, you know, they generally will switch a vehicle up, man, every three to four years or something like that. These motherfuckers driving cars and trucks, man, from the early 2000s. Rusted out, you know, making decent money, but they had to come back to work. <laughs> That's that thing, man. Amos 3 and 3, it says, can, can two walk together except they be agreed? That's very important, man. And that's Esau just all over the world globally. We say it all the time, man, globally. You know those NATO nations and EU nations, all those nations should be getting along with people like um, um, President Putin. You know, those, all those so-called white people, European nations, they should be getting along swell because they have all a common problem. Don't nobody else like y'all asses because y'all been um, fucking everybody over, first off. Then you have a secondary common problem, you know, with your birth rates. You're dying all quicker than you're being born. But here you go, you got damn wars killing off each other. I was reading a story, I think it was in the Washington Post or Guardian or something like that yesterday in the Apple News. And, you know, I had been hearing about it. I've seen some videos on it and stuff like that. But they're talking about, you know, over there in Ukraine where, hey, from, from I think it's from, it might be from 25 to age of 25. But I know it's up to the age of 60. You a 60-year-old and your ass just walking the street or you driving a car and they pull up on your ass, they're going to want to know about your um, conscription papers, I think is what it's called. Conscription is basically um, your draft papers, basically, or your draft ready. Are you physically fit? And they'll snatch your ass out of your car at a, at a, stop at tra um, a, a traffic stop and take your ass to a, um, a doctor, give you a physical. Because what they've been doing is they've been um, pretty much, you know, trying to use medical excuses as to why they can't go to the military. And then you have, you know, it's been a lot of corruption as far as like, you know, the ones with some money, just like here. No different than when Donald Trump was um, younger, I think, you know, and, and certain um, men that pop up trying to be damn presidents but never went to war. But, you know, their parents had so much money, they pay for them to, um, you know, pretty much skip that draft. And that's what's going on over there. That that shit is corrupt. But it, 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 they, 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 they saying that it's like 700,000 or so of them motherfuckers that got killed already. So now they're just snatching men off the street, throwing their asses in the back of a van. And taking them straight to the front line. That's what they were saying. They only getting a little bit of time, a little bit of boot camp, if that. And they, they shooting them straight to the front line. Smore, you know, just, just hamburger hill in their asses. Now, North Korea just sent some troops over there to help out Russia, which Russia, I don't think Russia not stressing like that, though. I think they probably just, that's got to be something else to do with something else, you know, because Russia supposedly got like a hundred, I mean, a million point five. They damn near got like two million um, men of war. 
So, but the thing of it is, is they're, they're, the economies are slowing down. They're not able to chill with those women. You know, when you ain't got no war, you got time to, you know, go out and club, party, meet a woman. You know, things happen. Oh, we got a baby. Two years later, we got another baby. Three years, we got another baby. No, that birth rate is cut and clipped. And right here in the Americas, that shit is going down. Nobody having no babies like that because they can't afford them. <laughs> you know, so the so-called white man, he's being divided on a level that's unprecedented, man. He used to be able to chill and have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damn kids, man. You even have people like, um, you know, say for instance, a, a person like Bill Gates, a person like Elon Musk, a person like um, Jeff Bezos, you know, or Donald Trump or whoever the fuck, all that money that they got, man, them motherfuckers should have at least 20 kids apiece. See, but that the mindset of these people is so damn silly. They got all that money. You sitting on all that bread. You can afford the kids, but you're not, um, um, you know, you're not having the children. And, but 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 the way that we're going to be having children in the kingdom and we're going to be shh, man. Come on, bro. We're going to be busting them down. Little mama going to stay pumped up. Because we're going to we're not going to be worried about shit. We're not we're going to have everything that we need. We're not going to be stressed. We're not going to worry about what, whether or not we can afford another kid or, you know, that type of shit. Here you go. You, you, you sitting there contemplating whether or not uh, you got to abort a baby. No, we're not going to be going through no shit like that, bro. This man is through. His kingdom is through. And I just wanted to just, um, you know, kind of go into that. It's, uh, it's called the Divided States of America. Let me see. This one right here. And all these are from 2024. Our divided nation will fall unless we return to American pragmatism. See? I'm not going to read into the article, but there's plenty of these articles. And when they really talking about that pragmatism, man, they talking about Esau, man. They talking about their people. They're, they're the ones that's all divided up. I was riding next to one. <laughs> I was riding, well, they appeared to be some Shedemites, some, some white chicks. And I was riding next to him today, man. And I'm just looking at these motherfuckers. Like, and it, it hit my mind. Like, these motherfuckers, it's through. You know? All weird-ass hairdos. All different types of colors in their fucking head. All kinds of, of them big-ass uh, uh, fucking loops in their goddamn earlobes. And, and I'm just looking like, these, these are two women. They did have a baby in the back, though. And I'm thinking like, man, where's the... The first thing hit my mind was, well, where's that... That woman that used to be in the Leave It to Beaver um, um, TV shows and shit. That, 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 that sophisticated little feminine, thin white lady that, you know, used to be dressed in that beautiful dress. You know what I'm saying? And she's waiting on her husband to pass him his pipe and his slippers when he walks through the door. You know, with the food already set, the damn um, apple pie and cooled off in the windowsill. You know, what, what happened to that shit? Nothing. You don't get nothing like that no more. I've been watching little um this series, this older series with um call um Hell on Wheels. But you know, it's uh you know situated back with the Pacific Railroads and you know it's kind of you know some country, some country, you know, some western type shit, timepiece or whatever. But I'm just looking at the women in them in that in in that series and, and you can just get an idea of what women used to actually be like. Especially from the so-called white people aspect. You know, they got some, you know, they show the um the native so-called Native American Indians. You know, but when you when they, you know, pretty much overall, they mostly showing these so-called white women with those nice dresses on, you know, but, but they do show a lot of them. You know, they got the whorehouse for sure. You know, like the old saloons, motherfuckers shooting it out in the street. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the whores. Um, um, <laughs> uh, but but the, the ones that they showed as far as like, you know, that were women that wasn't whores. You know how it, it was just like how delicate they was and how you know how feminine they was and how they tended to their man and you know it just had that 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 feel of when America was great I guess they would say. <laughs> but man, this place is out of control, man. It's through. It ain't nothing nothing coming good from it, man. And, and we're about to see, man. There ain't no telling what the fuck is about to happen, man, in these next couple of days. Cause if you got people out here burning ballot boxes they didn't say if they were democratic ballot boxes they, uh, you know they could have been whoever voting it could have been republican or democrat 
Now, we could have been in more of a, or in a Democratic area or more of in a Republican area. But I can't see it being in no area where you would mostly have Trump supporters and some shit like that happen. These fucking white men, these motherfuckers going to go crazy. They're going to jump in them pickup trucks, them damn trucks. You know them big ass trucks you got to climb into. You need a damn ladder. Motherfuckers sitting up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know them, them, them big ass F-150s, them Rams, them, um, them Silverados they be driving. And they're going to roll through, man, and, and have a field day with whoever, man. They, they, you fuck around and burn up one of them ballot boxes in one of them neighborhoods, man. So I was assuming when I seen it, this is more than likely a Democratic type of neighborhood or whatever. But it doesn't matter. It's just the whole thing of that's, that's just causing more division. It's only going to get worse. It's not going to get any more better. So I'm going to end out there. Just wanted to touch on that for a hot sec. Hey, look, man, be circumspect. Uh, because the days are evil. Matter of fact, let me end with that. So we definitely in the end of this thing, baby. It's getting it's getting um beautiful, man. It, it's like that finale of a movie. We got some things still to come, but you know it's it's it's, it's you know the movie is 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 ending for um Esau. Ephesians five and fifteen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. No, don't be no damn fool out here Because you know Jake They really feel like they're Americans They're going to take their stupid asses out here To some of these suburban neighborhoods Acting as if they can just eat at TGFI Fridays Or you know <laughs> Or be at a damn Denny's or some crazy shit You know what I'm saying Just acting as if I'm American And I deserve it You know you know, Run up in one of them so-called white um areas And get the asses whooped So You know Walk circumspectly man that's just in general, just being out even in the daytime, you know. I, I don't trust them at all. The scripture says to never trust thine enemy. These people are so pissed right now. They see your brown ass, they going they they ready to rock. They already ready to rock. I can see the tensions at the job where I'm at. Like, hey, look, they have no idea that I don't even give a fuck. They have no idea that I don't even vote. They don't know. They just figuring, hey, they looking at me with the brown skin like he must be a but you know what? It's a weird ass it's a it's a it's a damn Edomite. He appears to be an Edomite. I'm not even, you know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about he super duper appears to be an Edomite. So I might be tripping. Maybe he's not. But I seen this motherfucker today. And when I tell you this is Trump land, that motherfucker was walking through that bitch, man, with a Kamala shirt on. And they was giving that motherfucker all the sneers. I was like, well, you got a target on your back for real. Because when I first seen him, I had seen, I've been seeing this guy. Been seeing him for over a year. And when I seen him, I just knew for a fact, yeah, he a Trump supporter. I'm just, you know, that was, you know, I know damn well. He, he's, he looks like one of them grunge ass, straight big ass beard in the backwoods ass Edomites, man. And then one day I seen him, I'm like, this motherfucker, this motherfucker got on a Kamala shirt. And then today I seen him, he had a brand new Kamala shirt with a big ass picture of her on the front of that bitch. I was like, this motherfucker gonna get killed in here. Straight up, I couldn't even, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, man. I'm just snickering and laughing as I'm, but, but uh, what I notice is he's always by himself. These motherfuckers be in groups of 10, 25, 30 at that job, man, going to lunch together, all kinds of shit. But what I notice is about this guy, he's always by himself. Why? Because he's not down with the, with the Trump team. And, and I'm telling you, this, the whole city is Trump. That's why, you know, I'm glad that I actually have that day off. And I might take another day off before and a day off after just to see what the atmosphere is going to be like, man. I don't want to be around them Edomites, man, like that. Because it's definitely every, you know, overall, it's an American flag in every yard. <laughs> and it's definitely Trump um, hookups. I see a common, um little, little, little post thing in the yard here and there. But overall, it's, it's Trump City. And it's one of those sundown towns, too. It's like 96%, 97% so-called white people that live in that town. But anyway, you know, that's why I say walk circumspectly. Be careful while you're out and about. Don't just be, you know, hey, we, we just, I'm just going to do what I got to do. Go get your daily bread. Get your ass in your car. Handle what you have to handle and get into your home. That scripture that talks about getting up B time. <laughs> Let me get that one real quick. Oh, man, because you're living in some serious times, man. Ecclesiasticus. 32 and 11 in the Apocrypha, it says, rise up be times and be not the last, but get thee home without delay. So, you know, whatever you have to do on those days, use wisdom, man. Get on up, handle your business, 
You know, you don't want to be out and about and when when the damn sun go down, man, with these people out here, man. You might want to be if you got a basement, get into your basement. <laughs> you know, that that's something that we do here in the city where all we we've always done that, you know. My old man, he's just kind of like that, you know, we as kids and shit like that. You know, he just taught us, hey, when New Year's come around, all these bullshit holidays come around, these people shooting and doing all this bullshit, they shooting in the skies and the airs. No, we're, we're going to enjoy our time in the basement. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get some movies, whatever, whatever. And, and we will just cooking and eating, you know, in the basement. You know, that was just my one thing that my dad always said. I was way, way back. He wasn't with that shit. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do this time You know, just just using wisdom, man, you know Because you just never know with these people, man You just never know We'll see, though So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying Kormya Sha'Allah and the Bible Ball